course people are talking about trafficking in the case of summer wells that it's always going to be something that's spoken about when there is a missing child and especially you know when there's a young beautiful girl who has disappeared off the face of the planet and this is going to be speculation cruel it is cruel but there's going to be speculation around a family when it appears that the family are such a high risk to this very child that has been reported missing from their fault um, but the thing that people are getting wrong again about trafficking is that there's the assumption that trafficking means that a child is either stolen from someone for the specific use uh, in trafficking or you know they are sold into a trafficking ring so that you know that means the child is trafficked they think this is what it mean, means no trafficking is illegal trade or trade in something illegal so sex trafficking drug trafficking child trafficking and it can happen in the child's very home or you know they can be driven around just going to visit somewhere they can have people visit the home. Images of them are sold. Trafficking means many things. It, does, it doesn't just mean that a child is sold into a life of sexual abuse, servitude, okay? It, it means many things and we need to understand that. So uh, it's, it's true that Summer Wells might have been trafficked, I, either abducted and used, for gratification or you know sold for money that sort of thing or uh, sold by her parents it's a cruel thought it's a horrible thought um, it doesn't mean that they weren't trafficking her already do you understand it doesn't mean that part of summer's little life and her her lifestyle it doesn't mean that it didn't include um, abuse in this sort of manner okay um, it, it's a terrible thought but well I mean Don Wells keep talking bud um, he's laying blame everywhere he's even laying blame to his own beautiful daughter you know her wanting to be outside it's her downfall um, he mentions his neighbours a lot, a lot. Doesn't he, Bubby? Yeah. And talks about how he doesn't really know them, etc. But I can tell you now, birds of a feather flock together. And shitbags generally know who the shitbags are in the community. And it turns out there's a shitbag right next door to Don and Candace's Wells, Ben Hill, home. Uh, not an eight minute drive Candace. no probably an eight eight minute bushwhack across his property and up onto yours um so it's possible that someone has lurked in the woods watching summer cross the grassy knoll and when she might have exited the basement the unlocked basement door to go out and play on her swing on her own unaccompanied company on her own property uh, yeah, maybe someone has managed to swoop, keeping out of eye line from people on the other side of the house. Take her back the way he came. You know, you've got law enforcement begging neighbours not to stop looking at their own properties. Um, but were they able to get any warrants to search homes around the Ben Hill property? Especially to people that pose a high danger to Summer Wells. People um, like the chap next door on the road over, but it's next door. It's an abutting property. There's woods and a creek in between. Um, who apparently has convictions for child pornography possession and maybe distribution. Uh, and what do we know about people that have child pornography? Uh, studies show us research shows us that these people are already um, actively molesting children so there's a possibility that 
parents have nothing to do with it, there's a possibility they suspect what's happened, there's a possibility there's an accident, there's a possibility that Summer wandered off and was taken out of the blue, there's the possibility that she was watched and coveted, so much is possible, but do you think Candace and Don know nothing? I, I, I simply struggle to believe that they know nothing. And I think Don says a lot when he says um, things in interviews and makes statements on, on Facebook. You know, you've got him putting words into Ali's mouth stating that there was a yellow car racing away. Well, lo, didn't Don just fire one of his workers that has a yellow vehicle? Is this the same yellow vehicle seen in the video with Little Summer Wells as she dances and splashes in the rain in front of that barrel that says for sale? I would suggest that the for sale sign might be for puppies, it could be for anything. It, it's all very queer. Where is Candace's mother, Candace? Has Candace Senior disappeared? What, why was she allowed to leave the state? for her own safety I mean are the cops working on uh, on her it, it's all very it's it's truly bizarre isn't it it's truly bizarre anyway um, I've got a little uh, pie here getting cold carnivore dog and I are going to have a little treat on our day off aren't we and um, yeah I just I just wanted to mention that about trafficking look how pale I look I haven't Oh, and I'm, I look very sick today. I don't feel that well. Um, I'm not sure a pie is going to help. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that about trafficking because the way it's spoken about it's as if only one thing can happen. What I sense might have happened to, I question why Candace wouldn't want to take her shiny new SUV to take her mother to the hospital, etc. Well... I would say she told her boys, no, no, we're just going to the hospital, stay here, it'll be boring, but I'll take some so you don't have to watch her. Um, and I think she wanted to go in grandmother's truck. I don't know how she talked grandmother into this. Maybe she's going to say, oh, my car needs work. I mean, it's a brand new car. Um, but I think she's done this so that she can be a bit more incognito, a bit more inconspicuous when she's at the lake with this young boy okay I think the plan all along was to be at the lake with the young boy sorry it's not a lake but you know at the stables on the river and it's a lot less conspicuous isn't it when you're parked in a car park and your bright red shiny noticeable recognizable car isn't there it's just an old truck just a truck that's probably quite common in those parts and I sense, I kind of feel like Candace dropped her mother off at the hospital, then went and got Hunter, went with Summer and Hunter only to the water, got the mother. I, I'm not sure. There is a lot of driving time. I don't believe that there's sort of this two hours missing or anything like that. I don't think it's quite like that. But anyway, I think Summer um, was taken as kind of an alibi or something maybe, or I don't, I don't know. And, and I think Candace didn't take her shiny fire engine red car because she thinks it's too recognisable. The other thing I wanted to mention is I think it's not the case that the 911 call came in at 6.30. And if it was at around that time. Don certainly wasn't still at work. What had he been doing? He would have finished. He had hours to come and go. And did he come back and five something? Or is there collusion with Candace for Don to be off doing something before the 911 call? I would say there might be a time difference anomaly here. I feel like it would have been more like 4.30, not 6.30, or 4 o'clock, not 6 o'clock. And... The reason I, I really think this is, you know, people in these type of labouring roles that Don was performing, you know, working for the drywall company, you start early and you finish early. You're not working to 6.30 or so 
even if you may be trying to pull off a project, would he be there till 6.30? Possibly, but I would say we'd need to see what hours is he normally at this job? And is he regularly working until 6.30? Because I would, I would speculate no. So I, I think the timeline, I, it's very, very strange. We don't even have a timeline. I don't think we can say that Don was at work when Candace called him. This could all be a plot. He could have been off taking some summer anywhere. I, I don't know what the case is. I'm not accusing Don outright, but it's clear from my videos, I, I don't know what's happened, but I feel like the family know and are lying, okay? And whether that's just to hide some really poor parenting, uh, whether it's to hide abuse, I don't know. But they, they could be very guilty or they could be innocent. I, I don't know. Uh, but nothing sounds right. Spidey senses are up. And um, yeah, Summer is such a beautiful girl. How gorgeous. And she was going to grow into a swan, wasn't she? And you know, we've got to look at generational issues here. Don, who knows what he grew up with because he turned out to be quite the piece of work who has a son that has been in prison for child molestation or you know abuse for being with a, a minor child. He was 19, the, ch the girl was 14 and that was illegal in the state he was in. And where do you learn this? And Don has other sons in the home with Summer. And 12, 11 and 9, yes, it is old enough to abuse. Don't get at me here. I'm just making a statement about fact that it's possible. I'm not saying that I think it's possible. I'm not trying to diss those young boys. Uh, but Summer could have been in danger on many levels. Because if Don brought up one son to be that way, he could have brought up others. And we all know there's something very strange going on with the boys, the way Don talks about them, the way he held one son with him at that first interview. There's something going on. There is something. It's all very, very strange. Summer could be alive. Summer could be alive and being held somewhere. Don might know that she was sold to be used and alive. I mean, that is a dreadful thought. It's something that might happen. I'm not saying I believe it. But, you know, she could be alive. And she needs to be found. And I hope with all the law enforcement agencies that are on to this and have been um, since that afternoon of the 15th of June, I hope they get, get this solved. I think Don is just trying to throw out as many uh, red herrings as possible, you know, and it, it's very queer. Look, it could be somebody from the church. Someone would trust someone in the church, and it's a mistake to think that everybody in the church is infallible, isn't it? We know that. Again, not casting any aspersions there. I don't know any of these uh, people. But we know, statistically, right, that there's, it's possible there's a predator there and Summer is a child that people would covet and if they knew things about the family, we can clearly see that no, she's extra vulnerable. So, anyway, I'll speak to you later.